Hey, hey, hey guys, it is Old Man G here back again with another video and there's just been a lot of, I've been a busy guy today. First this morning, the Southampton preview of Matchday Vlogs, check it out, and then the Europa League stream, and now a third video of the day, and I'm, I'm actually exhausted, but it's just been confirmed, or coming out from, basically from BBC Sport, multiple UK outlets, and even um, Fabrizio Germano on Twitter as well, um, that Matteo Damian, Damian, who's basically been at the club for goodness knows how long um, and has not really made an impact. I think it was under Van, ha Van Hout bought him, I think. To be frank, even under Mourinho, Darman didn't really feature. He's just been at the club doing nothing. He's had a occasional appearances to come in. But generally speaking, Matteo Darman hasn't done anything. Um, and as we can clearly see, Oli is getting ruthless, man. Oli is clearing out the deadwood. Um, Sanchez on loan, Lukaku sold. Darman is, this is actually a permanent transfer. So Sanchez and Chris Smalling, as we saw before, are loans. He does confirm in his press conference that Rojo is going to stay. Um, but um, this news specifically pertaining to Matteo Darmian is that he is leaving Old Trafford on a permanent transfer. He's got a medical book for tomorrow where he's going to switch to the Italian side, Parma. Now, I don't know what United have with Italy now. Like, literally all of our players have gone to Serie A sides. You know, Sanchez and Lukaku gone to Inter. Smalling gone to Rome on loan. And now Matteo Darman is going to Parma. I mean, what the hell? Like, what's going on? Like, all, just all our players have been taken by Italy. And fair enough. I mean, to be fair, you, 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 it's, it's possible you could argue that the Italian league is a slower league, um, slightly slower league. And frankly, you know, um, you know these, these players might perform well, well there, I think. I certainly think so. Um, according to uh, Di Marzio, Di Marzio, obviously not uh, not to Fabrizio, sorry, Di Marzio, um, basically, and that's where the source is, the primary source is Di Marzio, and Simon Stone on BBC is also reporting the same. So Di Marzio and Simon Stone, who's in, Simon Stone is an insider for United, is, f is fairly reliable. They're very reliable when it comes to these things. So I would, I'm 90% I'm confident that, well, I'd say 99% this is going to go through. As you expect, because Diamond's not going to be involved. Um, so, yeah, another player off the wage bill, another player gone, um, and another player we can invest in in the future. But, yeah, if you're just joining in, um, Matu Damian to Palmer, the Syria side Palmer. Um, he's going to have a medical at the Italian club tomorrow ahead of the switch before the deadline. We're going to get a lot of... Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in his press conference, and we'll probably post the press conference reaction video later, and I'm going to do it. One of the things he seemed to suggest was that there were going to be more um, more transfers, more leaves. Um, and Chris Smalling, you know, Sanchez and Lukaku are kind of like, don't surprise me. Smalling actually surprised me. Damian surprised me that we got it done, but doesn't surprise me that they ought to offload him. So... If, if confirmed, Rojo's going to stay. So I can't think of any other players really that will depart um, from that from that squad, which is already bare thin as it is, other than possibly... Well, I can't think of anybody, to be honest. Maybe Phil Jones, possibly. Possibly Phil Jones might leave. Might, might leave. That's the only... Well, I imagine he will stay because we don't have as many... A lot of centre-backs. Um... But that's the only person I can think of right now that could potentially sort of leave. Um, so, yeah. Um, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer also confirms that there was interest by, by, by Palmer as well, or in Italy. Um, we did sign him from Italy, from Torino in, in, in 2015. But he hasn't, he hasn't been done, done good for us. He hasn't come good, to be honest. Um, yeah. Um, I wish him all the best at Palmer, guys. So, again... Please, um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX. Just to repeat again, guys, breaking news. Matteo Damian. Damian to Palmer with a medical tomorrow, according to De Marzio and Simon Stone. It's going ahead. Oli is clearing out the, out the dead world. Oli's at the wheel. Follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX. And stay tuned for more videos. Smash that notification button to get the latest news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.